Bwana Yesu asifiwe and a very good morning to you from wherever you're watching us from. We'd like to say karibu sana to today's morning devotion. My name is Waidararo Kimani and I'm so excited just to share a little bit of God's word with you today. Quickly, if we could turn to the book of Matthew chapter 14 and I'm going to be reading from verse 25 through to 33. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, truly you are the son of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to say thank you for the reading of your word. We ask that it may bring forth light in our lives, even as we learn to focus on you. Amen. I'm going to set a little background to this story. What has happened before is Jesus has fed 5,000 people with um, just a couple of fish and just a couple of breads. And then after a while, he moved on to pray. And after Metoka Kuomba, he finds that um, the boat is ways off. And Jesus, being Jesus, you know, walked to the boat um, that was um, ways off towards where the water is, right? And so people, um, Peter is seeing what's happening and in his mind is like, hey, even me, I want to do what Jesus is doing. And so he was like, let me see if this is possible even for me. And asked Jesus, Jesus, if you are the son of God, tell me to come. And Jesus being full of grace and him being just who he is said, come. So Peter started walking on water. And then all of a sudden, he became aware first of the supernatural activity that he was doing, which is walking on water. How crazy is walking on water? Just imagine with me, you're at the beach side, Pale Mombasani, no, 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 maji. You're walking, you're walking on top of the water. Can you think about it? There are coral leaves, reefs under you. There's fish swimming. You're seeing the shark. You know, think about it with me. Can you see it? And then he realized that there are winds and there are storms happening even at the moment. And in that moment, he began to sink. I want to bring you to your attention first the fact that Jesus told him to come. Jesus was aware that there was wind. Jesus was aware that it was water and it was a supernatural activity. But him being aware of all those things that were happening, he said, come. How gracious is that terminology that Jesus is calling us to walk into the supernatural. He is aware that he is Lord, but he is calling you into activating or tapping into that supernatural and his words are simple come but the moment we begin to think about other things and focus on other things the winds the storms the trials of life and things that we are going through we begin to sink how many times if I can ask you my brother my sister have you begun to sink not because God hasn't called you mm -mm, because you began to become aware of everything else apart from the master Jesus in this moment in time is calling us into the supernatural he is saying I don't want you to be a witnesser of the great things that I do no 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 I want you to come and do these great things that I do the Bible reminds us that greater things than this shall we do. That means they're walking on water, they're raising um, people to life, the healing and all this are the power that we have within us. But how many times do we get lost in our mind? How many times do we get lost in our surroundings? How many times do we forget who God has called us to be or what God has said or the confidence that because he has said, I will walk on water. Because he has said, I will tap into the supernatural. Because he has said, then nothing can affect me. Immediately we allow the power of the mind and lose our focus on Jesus, the one who has called us out. That is when we begin to sink. And that is when we begin to 
to drown, when we begin to doubt the power of God that lies within us, that is when we begin to drown. So I call us into a moment of introspection, a moment of self-analysis. Where in my life am I drowning? And am I drowning because I have lost focus? I am so in love with the theme of last year's Harvest Conference, which was, if you're serious about this life, act like it. And I'm going to read it, Colossians 3, chapter 1 to 2. So if you're serious about living this new resurrection life with Christ, act like it. Pursue the things over which Christ presides. Don't shuffle along, eyes to the ground, absorbed with the things right in front of you. Look up and be alert to what is going on around Christ. That is where the action is. See things from his perspective. I mean, wow. Look up to Christ because that's where the action is. The action that will change your situation, the action that will change what is happening um, currently, what you're going through is where Christ is. It begins to get scary when you start looking at what is around you. It begins to get scary when you're walking on water and perhaps there's a shark. Unayona chinia. Aija kuguza, ata aija uja ipatana nayo. But the fact that you began to look down and lost focus on the one who has called you out, you begin to drown. You begin to sink. And so I'm going to pray with us that even as we continue to focus on God, we may focus on the call that he has called us out of and what he's calling us into. He's calling us into the supernatural. He's calling us into power. He's calling us into strength. He's calling us into overcoming the things that seem impossible. Why? Because nothing is impossible with Christ. And the power of his word should be confidence for you enough to know that yes, it is water, but I will walk on it. So Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are so grateful that you have said, come. Notwithstanding the water, the wind, and the waves, and everything that is happening around us, you have said, come. And because of what you've said, dear Father, we pray that we may continue to focus our eyes on you. We may continue to see things from your perspective. Because when we see things from your perspective, then all things are working together for our good. Yes, it's a storm. Yes, there is wind. Yes, there is water. But we have been called into the supernatural. So, Father, we pray that we may reshift our focus to you. If at all we had forgotten or we had lost our gaze, if we had lost our sight on you, we ask that now, dear Father, you may continue to open our eyes as we fix our eyes on you. We pray that you may continue to call out the things within us, the greatness and the potential that lies within us. Because, you know, with you on our side, then absolutely nothing can stand in our way. We love you and we worship you for this, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for tuning in. We ask that you join us on our other sessions that will be happening throughout the day. Tune in to our social media platforms. There is something good for you. Have a lovely day.